Hey what's up guys, recently we got a leaked lollipop firmware for the Note 3. So this works with the N9005 variant only. Basically the final version will be similar to this firmware with some minor changes here and there. So if you want to install this firmware, I will leave a link in the description. Make sure to check it out. Installing this firmware will not void your warranty as well as you will not lose any of your apps and data. And if you are coming from a custom ROM, you will lose your root access. So starting from the lock screen, you get the same unlocking effect, lollipop style notifications and even the lag that we had on the lock screen is no more. As you can see I am locking and waking up the device continuously using the power button and there is no lag. On the home screen, here we have the same weather widget, we have the new notification bar with this animation and even the OK Google functionality works perfectly fine. And now we have the card style multitasking UI. The touchwiz on this lollipop seems really improved compared to its previous versions. It's very very smooth, fast and fluid. App launch is quick. The new keyboard makes typing very easy as well as it looks very elegant. Almost all the stock apps have received a facelift inspired from the material design like the dialer, SMS, music player, clock, S-Voice and many more. The app drawer also looks slightly better and organized. When it comes to the camera everything remains the same. Going on to the settings menu we get this new UI with the lollipop animation as well as the toggle switch. And with this update you can also search for any category or settings. Say for example battery and there you go. Apart from that all the layout and the UI remains the same and also in terms of functionality everything remains the same. Talking about the multi window we have the note 4 styled floating window. And we have all the options like drag and drop where you can drag and drop images and text to send it. You can minimize the app for later access, resize it, maximize it or close it. So if you want to learn more about the Note 4 style multi window, I will leave a link in the description. Now coming to the S Pen, everything remains the same. But with the S Note app, you do get some Note 4 features like the photo note where you can just take a picture and only keep the text from the image. Likewise, we can insert the camera frame on the S Note app itself. Back to the home screen, you can tap and hold on an empty space to change your wallpapers, add widgets and manage your home screen. So basically, with this lollipop update, Note 3 features exist like the motion controls, one-handed operations, etc. Plus we do have some added features from the Note 4 that I have already shown you. However, there are some missing features which I would like to see with the final update like the ultra power saving mode, the new unlock effect, priority senders on the SMS app and so on. In terms of performance, all the basic functions like the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, hotspot, etc. works perfectly fine. All the motion controls, the S Pen features works perfect and also the battery life is slightly improved. So guys, if you cannot wait for the official update, you can install this firmware for now and I will be coming up with a video on how to install the official firmware once it releases. This video was just a quick look on how the lollipop looks on the Note 3. So that's all for this video guys, thank you guys for watching, stay tuned for more and I will catch you in the next one.